All right, test J, section three, question 10. Advertisers have learned that people are more easily encouraged to develop positive attitudes about things toward which they originally have neutral or even negative attitudes if those things are linked with pictorial help rather than exclusively through prose, so pictures, not just words, to things about which they already have positive attitudes. So this is, you know, the law firm coming into your school to try to recruit people and they buy you pizza because you like pizza. And you might not like that law firm. You might actually dislike them or you maybe you've never heard of them. And the principle is, yeah, but you like pizza though, right? So let me give you some pizza and then you might start to associate me with those good feelings. Apparently advertisers have learned that people behave in this way. Uh, I'm, I'm analogizing, I guess, to a, an on-campus recruitment event, which is, you know, a form of advertising. Okay, anyway, so what? That's all just like, here's a, it's a pretty convoluted, long sentence, but, you know, it, it's just telling you that, you know, put puppies next to something that you want to try to rehabilitate the image of, and maybe, you know, maybe it start, makes them look good by osmosis. All right, so where are we going with that? Well, therefore, it says, advertisers are likely to blank. Uh, do that, <laughs> like do exactly what you just described. You just told me that people are more easily encouraged to develop positive attitudes about things toward which they originally have neutral or maybe even negative attitudes if you link them with pictures, not just with words. So I'm thinking of a picture of puppies next to ExxonMobil or whatever it is, you know, just something that has a shitty brand and you want to try to make it look better. You chocolate chip cookies and, you know, nice things that everybody likes. So to fill in this blank, it, it says which one of the following most logically completes the argument and I'm not looking for anything new here. Okay. The correct answer can't bring up new shit. The correct answer has to just basically say what they already said. It can't go any extra or it's wrong. A, should advertisers, are they likely to use little, if any, written prose in their advertisements? No, it, you know, it, it said use pictures, not just words. But it didn't say use only pictures. It didn't say use words sparingly. We don't have justification for that. It's just different, so it's wrong. How about B, should advertisers try to encourage people to develop positive attitudes about products that can be better represented pictorially than in prose? What? Um, that's a lot of words, but what, what does, what's the meaning of that? You have to think it through all the way through. Like, what does that entire statement actually mean? What it means is if you're an advertiser, you should pick photo photogenic products or products that are better represented in a picture than, are, than they could be by prose. What, where's your justification for that? That's not the point. The point isn't whether Exxon Mobil would be better represented with a picture of, you know, the Exxon Valdez oil spill, or whether it would be better represented by words about Exxon Mobil. That's not the point. The point is not, oh, advertisers, you know, you want to make sure that you look at the how, how photo friendly your clients are. You know, don't represent a brand that doesn't look good in a picture. That's not their point. Their point is puppies look good in pictures. Let's get puppies and put them on the Exxon Valdez. Um, I can't pick B. 
How about C? Should advertisers uh, be placing their advertisements on television rather than in magazines? No, because you can put photos of puppies in magazines. How about D? Highlight the desirable features of the advertised product by contrasting them pictorially with undesirable features of a competing product. No, that would be... Look, it's a very simple principle, which was get puppies, put those next to a bad brand. D is like, get your product and the opponent's product, and then you're going to emphasize the weaknesses of theirs and the strengths of yours. That's not what the facts were about. E, how about create advertisements containing pictures of things most members of the target audience like? Well, yeah, <laughs> that's just, that's what you said. You said, Develop positive attitudes about things toward which they originally were neutral or negative if you link them with pictorial help to things about which they already have positive attitudes. So yeah, we're going to create ads with things that people like. That's what E says. There's nothing new there. There's nothing different, nothing extra. It's safe, conservative, boring, obvious. That's the kind of answer that we're looking for on these closed record types of questions where it's simply saying, hey, the record, it, you know, justifies which one of these, because it says which one of the following most logically completes the argument, not which one, if it's true, is going to do something. Rather, the facts that are already there support one of these answers. And E here is the only one that's supported.